now I'm that guy that holds the line up and everybody's trying to look inside the car and see who's ordered it. <laughs> they want to see if they can come up here and yell at me. But they're like, nah, he's a little bit too big, so we're just gonna let him be. Hey, what's going on, Muscle and Strength? Robert Timms here with Gaspar Nutrition. And we're about to take you to some fast food restaurants to go to the drive-through and just pick easy pickups when you know when you're on the go. Whenever I'm on the go, like if I need to grab something, I always have a little bit of options that I try to choose from and make sure that they, like I said, still fit somewhat because there's never going to be a time where you're going to be able to get exactly your macros but I try to pick the best options instead of, you know, going overboard whenever I do come through a fast food drive through For me, breakfast food is anytime food. So eggs are always a positive um, food to get. So I'll try to get the egg bites, which are just straight eggs, and then they have a piece of bacon on them. And then they make those, and they have about 20 grams of protein in them. So those are some of the, one of the options that I usually go for. Yes, um, can I do two orders of your um, bacon egg bites? You're actually all out of the bacon egg bites. Oh, what about the roasted red pepper? Yeah, we have the white bites. Let me do those two. Let me do two orders of those, yes sir. Okay. And that'll do it. All right, thank you. Thank you. So, as you can see, I had to pull an audible. What happened? Um, they were out of the egg bites, so I went with the roasted red pepper, and um, those are the same thing, just without bacon, and they have um, red pepper in them. A little bit less protein. The uh, bacon egg bites have about 19 grams of protein each, and one pack of two egg bites, and then the roasted red peppers have about 13 grams of protein. So I'm only getting about 26 grams of protein because I ordered two um, orders of it. Now I'm that guy that holds the line up and everybody's trying to look inside the car and see who's ordered it. <laughs> they want to see if they can come up here and yell at me, but they're like, nah, he's a little bit too big, so we're just going to let him be. Thank you. No worries. Um, yes, please. Thank you, sir. The thing is they had double windows and they have a walk-up window and they have a drive-through window. And you would think the drive-through window would be the fast food window, but it's definitely not fast food. All right, so this is what we got. And like I said, it's just um, spinach, egg, egg whites, um, red, red pepper. If I have a busy day, it's just something to quick to grab, get down and keep moving. One is definitely not enough. One of the West Coast's favorite restaurants. In-N-Out is known for its burgers and fries. The simplicity of them, um, <clears throat> not too crazy of ingredients, not too much. It's just a burger and uh, just a good, clean burger, fresh burger and fries. Um, they make them on the spot, so once you order it, that's when they start to cook it. Um, and what I'm gonna go for is a um, I'll get a regular hamburger, uh, protein style, and then I'll get a um, regular fry and a Diet Coke. Hi, how are you? Excellent, how you doing? I'm doing good, thanks for asking me. Try to today. Yes, let me do a number three, protein style. Would you like onions? Yes, please. Alrighty, what's that for your drink today? A Diet Coke. 631 of that first window. All right, thank you. So protein style is no bun. Um, so it, it still cuts back on your carbs, but <clears throat> I got the fries so I can get carbs anyway. But if either way I could, another way I could flip it would be, I would do a double-double, um, which is two patties, and then I would do that regular, and then just do it without fries. All 
right. Thank you. So like I said, I just got a burger and fry with, I got it uh, protein style. So means with covered in lettuce. Um, something simple, just something to, um, you know, give me some fuel throughout the day. And, and this is like what I said, like I said, it's one of those things that if I'm on the go, I just come here, grab this and immediately after a workout because they're a, um, a fast digesting food. So I would try to knock those out right after my workout while my food, my body is actually um, starving after a workout, after it's been through so much stress, um, I'll go ahead and knock my fries down. So this will be a good post-workout meal for me. Go ahead and tell us that you like McDonald's. You can say it. <laughs> no, it's not. I, I love McDonald's. Those are just a few tips and, you know, a little bit of bits of knowledge to understand how to continue on your fitness journey. Remember, everybody's journey is different. Nobody's going to be the same. So just take the little bits and pieces from people and do your research and figure out what works best for you. And in the long run, it'll be a better outcome for you because you understand yourself and that'll get you through your fitness journey.